Hello, you are going to see a demonstration of the three types of damping under damping, over damping and critical damping The oscillation in this demonstration is basically a pendulum It's made up of a ruler with some magnets attached at the end The damping force is provided by the magnetic force due to eddy currents in the aluminium block as a result, the pendulum keeps losing energy, its amplitude continuously decreases, and eventually will come to a rest. By moving the aluminium block closer, we can increase the eddy current and therefore increase the amount of damping. So every time we increase the damping force, we increase the rate of decay of the oscillation. Let's count the number of times the pendulum overshoots the equilibrium position before coming to rest. That was four times, right? Let's increase the damping further and see what happens. Now it overshoots two times only and we can keep increasing the amount of damping Now, the one that you just saw is quite special because the pendulum comes to a rest without even overshooting once Now, can we continue to increase the damping? Of course we can and you realize that as we increase the damping, it just takes longer and longer for the oscillation to come to a rest. So as long as there's a damping force, the oscillations must decay. But depending on the amount of damping, depending on the degree of damping, the way the oscillations decay uh, is quite different. So here you see 9 oscillations experience different degrees of damping. The one at the center is a special one, it's called critical damping. Anything less than that is called under damping. And anything more than that is called over damping. Now in many applications where we have unwanted oscillations, we are always aiming to critically damp the oscillation. From this collage here, can you understand why? See you at the comment section. Ta-ta!